Gavin Morris joins us now with our weather and Gav it's certainly been wild out there today. Yes, it's a wild night, that is for sure. We've seen some very strong winds and icy cold air move in. At one point, we had a wind chill factor go to freezing at Nobby's Head throughout this afternoon. First of all, though, more billowing clouds over the Bay sand dunes from Warren Leadbeater. This intense east coast low again battering the New South Wales mid-north coast, set to continue for at least another 24 hours for us. It's been dumping the rain, as you'd expect. The heaviest falls recorded along the coast or fringe at Nora Head, Blacksmiths up to Merriweather, uh, Port Stevens, and of course Foster. Uh, topping the list near Foster of 50 millimetres. Otherwise, locally, it's been around that 20 millimetre mark up until nine, and we're copying those kinds of numbers again. Look at this fast moving river of air. It's got cold polar mass uh, embedded in it, and that's what we felt this afternoon with that temperature falling, and that's been helping to turn that precipitation to snow across the higher peaks of the mountain areas around the Barringtons but there's just not that much getting inland at all now the low is holding strength it'll pull away but it's that pressure gradient that's still going to remain very high and therefore continually blasting the strong winds the big seas and the squally heavy showers across the region it'll back off at the end of the week on Friday but we've still got a pretty tough night for coastal communities and day to follow very chilly right throughout the southeast and for Sydney Brisbane not bad 23 cool in the Alice for Adelaide in the west, another top of 30 degrees and a trough line is approaching to deliver a little relief on the radar. There it is, hardly anything. You can see just skimming in around Maitland, little bits there around Maitland. But once you get west of Maitland, the upper hunter hardly saw anything at all. But once you hit the coastal communities, they were absolutely copping a battering under big black skies and howling freezing winds. Uh, the top temperature there at Nobby's was 14, but it was only momentarily uh, at that uh, number. It uh, dropped all the way down to about... 10 degrees at about 2 o'clock this afternoon. Now the humidity is falling but it is still very wet of course at Nobby's but dry inland. Temperature is on the way down, pressure falling and the howling winds continuing uh, throughout tomorrow. Again out of the south very strong along the coast. Pretty gusty inland, not as severe and the rain very similar. The coastal communities uh, will be copying it again, particularly Nelson Bay up around Port Stephens and you can see the winds trying to bend around and push the showers a little further inland and uh, there's a good chance there'll be some snow flurry there across the Barringtons uh, overnight and potentially throughout tomorrow. Another very cold, windy, wet, cloudy day. Uh, pretty dangerous conditions there along the coast. Then the further we move inland, once again, once we get beyond that line of about Maitland Cessnock throughout the Upper Hunter, predominantly fine. There should be some showers there. You can see a little bit of snow there in the forecast again for the Barrington. Season swell outrageous. Uh, four to five metres, gale wind warnings and of course we've got uh, uh, dangerous uh, warnings uh, as far as that surface and swell is concerned for rock fishing and boating etc. Now you've got a high tide there at 20 to 6 tomorrow morning. Sun rising at 5.41 at 6.21 this afternoon. It crossed over the equator so now it's officially back into the southern hemisphere but now we just need the situation to warm up a little bit. Moon phase, full moon approaching on the 28th. Wild tomorrow, beginning to settle a little bit for Friday. Few showers there Saturday. Sunday predominantly fine as the whole situation begins to ease. Uh, going to the coast, it was uh, a white capped mess out there. Uh, and the swell uh, getting bigger and bigger, just chunky, out of control conditions. It is not inviting by any means and it's going to continue that way again throughout tomorrow. There's only a few spots that can handle it, but pretty tough to get motivated even for there. Sure yeah. is. Thanks, Gav. Thanks, Gav. In a moment, the kayak is stalked by a shark. How he managed to get away.